As you can see, I have Todd Novak in front of the camera, and he's really an, an art connoisseur, an art lover, an art teacher here at Dominguez High School here in Cottonwood, Arizona. And he's really doing a great thing with the youth here in this area. And you really are, are an, a true artist, uh, Tyler, and uh, you're, you, you, you work in all kinds of different mediums, you know. Yeah. And uh -huh. this, this one is really interesting to hear about the teeth that he explained to me off camera. And maybe just a little bit of a, explain a little bit about this, this teeth thing. It's interesting, because everything comes out of the, the, the heart of the, or the mind comes out, it comes mm -hmm. out of the mouth. So this is that just is kind of about? Yeah, this piece here, it's, uh, it's called Flow. Um, it has to do with uh, a literal flow that comes out of us. I mean, we're composed of, of bone, teeth, uh, in this case, right. saliva, fluids. And at the same time, it is metaphorical flow, the idea that, that emotions, words, ideas also come out of us. And so right. uh, I combined, I juxtaposed this representational teeth with an abstraction where I was putting layers of paint to create this idea that something would be coming, just flowing out from behind. Yeah, that's an amazing Hence piece. It, 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 makes, it makes people think. and. Once you understand it, it really makes a lot of sense, you know. I guess a lot of your art does will make a lot of sense, though. So maybe yeah. give you kind of a small synopsis on each one of your sure. pieces of art here on the wall. No the problem. Wall. Okay, go ahead on this uh, one right this here. This piece is called Behold. Um, it's oh. a charcoal, and it's a profile eye. And um, in the iris, I came in with my palette. And if you'll notice, my, this palette is throughout the entire show. And the palette is ochres, crimsons, and umbers. And so I came in with a wet and a wet technique with watercolor mm -hmm. and uh, replaced the iris and pupil, or the pupil of the eye, with the wet and a wet uh, palette from the show. Again, behold, the idea is that what we're looking at. Right. And are we seeing the humanity? Are we seeing what's behind mm -hmm. this, uh, this idea of who we think we are? Or are we seeing what's really in existence of us as human beings as both? physical human beings is represented and then the idea of, of what we think we are as we might really see it. So besides being an artist, you're like a psychologist? Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm an art teacher, so you an can say teacher. I do a lot of work with, uh, depth, yeah, with human beings you're, you're, and what's going on in their heads. You and do a lot of in-depth uh, thinking to your art. Mm -hmm. What about this piece right here? Uh, this piece is called Mindless Consumption. Um, it's the idea, again, as all my pieces are, it has to do with, all my work has to do with us being human beings in our actions and what we do, what we think, what we feel. And it also has to do with the physical nature of the human being. Right. Uh, my work is not necessarily meant to be comfortable. It's supposed to make you think and it's supposed to make us feel. In this piece here, we have a body, a torso, and instead of a head, the neck comes down and opens up to this basin. So there's oh, no yeah. head, there's no thought. And all it's doing is pouring this liquid into its oh, amazing. kind of this gaping basin of, of the neck. Which a lot of humans do. Which we do, yeah. I mean, a lot of people, we, we spend too much money, we waste gasoline, we uh, oil all the and resources and water uh, as human and, and so in a social context this speaks to us as human beings what we're doing environmentally right on an individual context it speaks to us as human beings and what we do to ourselves whether we eat too much or drink too much or alcoholism or drug abuse so these things that we continue to consume so that has a negative connotation uh, it really does yeah it's, a, it's, a, it's it's meant to make you think it's meant to make you feel make us understand a truth, because it is a truth. Let me go to the next one right here. Now this one here I'm trying to figure out. Let me see what you, how you explain it. Yeah, this is uh, motility. It's about reaching out. Now, myself as an artist, I'm always striving to reach the viewer. Mm -hmm. So I'm always trying to get the viewer to see what I want them to see. Here we have the eye looking out. It's kind of being forced open with these pins. So it's not just uh, it's not just an eye in a relaxed position. It's an eye that's being engaged. It's being forced to look out. And again, it's made to make us feel a little bit uncomfortable. Uh, then it's a, like a sentence. So we're seeing. And then the hand itself is creating. As the artists, our hands create. 
it's our tools right, exactly. for what we do. It is. And yeah. then these strings that are extending out, it's pulling the hand away. And then up here, it may not be, a, see it, we have a very light wet into wet watercolor technique here that's supposed to be the spirit. It's our nature, it's who we are, it's the essence of us. And then that's uh, like an explanation point here, it's a period. Ending the sentence, it's kind of based if you would say on hieroglyphics. Hieroglyphics, that's very interesting, very different concept. And the other one right here next to it. Yeah, this piece here is called Falling. Uh, it started off with me blowing ink all over a piece of watercolor paper. So I just take ink, pour it down, take a straw, blow it around. Well, I found this figure in there. So I came in, painted this figure, just kind of a stream of consciousness, just found the image in the ink. Uh, using white, I highlighted the lights on the image. Mm -hmm. uh, I then came in and felt like this figure looked like that had the motion if it was falling down, so I put a hand in here that it was almost catching it. Uh, later on, what I did is I continued to accent the piece came in wet into wet with the watercolor. These are, uh, I call them meat balloons. They are supposed to represent, again, this, this humanity, this, the nature of us, the actual physicality, the, physio the physiology of the human body is here. And you're, so, you're, you're a very deep individual. <laughs> thank you. Well, we have, so we have this figure kind of falling down, yeah. really without the support, you know, falling through humanity. Hmm. This yeah. piece is a collaboration that uh, Matt and I did together. Oh, okay. We, actually, it's, uh, you know, as an art teacher, along with a lot of these pieces, you know, when I'm teaching charcoal to my students, I do this charcoal piece, and I do it uh, while I'm teaching. So mm -hmm. I'm teaching, the kids are working, and I'm also working as modeling what we're doing. Um, teaching, again, mixed media, using what's called Mod Podge and, and putting things together. So that's how that piece kind of came about, the hieroglyphics. This was actually, I did it with the students, blowing, blowing the ink, and we're trying to figure out what it looked like. And so I like to engage with my students, and of course we're making art. So my art is not their art, but we're using the same. What I'm trying to teach them, I'm modeling myself in my own way. Fantastic. And this was an abstract piece that Matt and I did. Uh, Matt started off with these large kind of coral looking um, what do we call them? Ice cream balls, sherbet balls around Sorbet here. Sorbet mochi Sor balls. Sorbet mochi balls, thank you, Matt. And then uh, I had come in then with some paint and just sort of attacked it, and then he would come in and repair it. Hmm. And so we really worked through this piece together, again, as a collaboration. Yeah, what's the title? Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, you know, it's funny. I don't know if we have it. You don't have a title yet? Not title yet? Okay. Yeah, we, it's, it's a collaborative abstract piece. Sure. And so um, we just took turns building this piece, constructing it, working, it, working together. together. Sure. And uh, like I was saying with the students, actually, the students, I'm, we're working on abstract mm -hmm. with the kids. And that's a really tough concept. Abstract art, they have a very hard time with it. The one that next to it, the, the, with the person in it, next to it right there, yeah. you, you, actually, you actually have a human figure in there. Yeah, that's me when I had hair. Was that you? That's me. So how long ago was that? Um, I painted this. The picture was probably about three years ago. I mean, when you had hair. When I had hair. Well, how long ago was that? That was about three years ago. Oh, really? You had all that hair three years I ago? I had hair. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't the teaching with it. You lost your hair. <laughs> it might have been the teaching. Yeah. Notice, I have the opposite of this picture now. I have my hair's here. It's no longer here or here. So that, that, that's new. I guess. It looks good too. I'm the opposite. Thanks. So uh, yeah, no, this is me. Self-portrait. Well, that, that's nice. Uh huh. So uh, it, 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 I, I, I just want to ask a little bit of thing. Most most your most your paintings are, are, are make you think and, and some have kind of a negative connotation to them. But it, do you have anything like it's totally positive in, in the art form? A totally positive? Totally I think positive? all of this is totally positive. Okay. Yeah, I think um, there's absolutely nothing negative about. These no, it's things, not, it's these, are, uh, these are about being human. These yeah, are the things that make us who we are. The fact that I can explore that and yeah. hopefully have people engage and think, that's positive. Yeah, you're really right. Now, this, this large one behind you, that's, that's, I like that one that's because I like Jackson Pollock stuff. Sure. And, but the, the, and this is, uh, 
Now, how, how, do you, how, do, how did you actually produce this? A uh, plastic sheet, laid it out. You know, this is the kind of sheeting that they use in industrial places. You know, they lay it down to oh, protect yeah? the floor or whatever. Laid the sheet down, and then we uh, mixed cups with uh, acrylic paint, liquefied it, a lot like Pollock, went around, poured oh, yeah. it, and then had people on each corner and we'd lift it up on one side or pour it down the other side and continue to kind of move it around to get that paint to flow and now, move the directions that have, we Having a lot of red in there, not some dark red, is that, is that kind of like a, an angry painting? No, the red, again, is indicative of our whole entire body of work. If you'll see, this crimson is, is evident in every piece in this room. And oh. the yellow ochres are evident in every piece of this oh, room. Oh, really? Well, that's interesting. And the burnt umbers are evident well, in that's, every that's, piece that's, of this that's room. That's great. You know, before I let you go, Tyler, I want, okay. you, I want to give information out here. And I know your, your school and you're very proud of your students over there. And you have some great art students, yeah. don't you? Well, awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. And I'm, I'm happy I can come and hang my work as well. It's, it's, it's nice to know that I can practice my art as well as teach it. Yeah, that, that is great. I mean, you, uh -huh. you, you, you must have one of those uh, pristine lives. <laughs> Love doing what you're doing and, and teaching yeah, do. and, and doing something positive for yeah, the youth. I'm, I'm practicing art every day, whether I'm making it myself or I'm, I'm working on it with my students. It's awesome. You're one of the, the valued community leaders. Well, thank you. You are, really. And uh, do you want to give out a website or phone number or anything after I want to get a hold well, of you? Uh, well, most people, you can get a hold of me through uh, Mingus Union High School, Tyler Novak. My phone number is 928-301-6454. I know, I know you want to extend a welcome or a thank you to these people here at Main Stage. Oh, absolutely. They've been wonderful. Rebecca and Christopher have been fantastic. Uh, they've let me come in and paint this entire room. Oh, did you did that? You yeah. painted the whole thing, huh? Yeah, it was really awesome. They've been wonderful. It's, it's been, they've been nothing but awesome. So have any of your students had their art in here yet? It's a bar. Oh, that's so right. So it's right. not really yeah. for, for my students that's to right. show in. Yeah. Right. We're getting ready for all, for all our, for their shows coming up here soon. I know you've got about two hours more of work here, so yeah, I'm going to let you go, Tyler. Thank Thanks you. a lot for your time. Have a great show. Okay. Thank you.